all right welcome back so let's do let's dimension this drawing so in order to dimension we want to first set up how the dimension lines are going to look like and i think i like how these look like and although just one thing we might want to remove the witness lines you know that you see these lines the, that will go all the way up i think we may want to use without uh the witness lines so let me select all of the dimensions which we can do by selecting dimension and say ctrl a to select everything and now they have been selected and <clears throat> we will choose witness lines uh, this one here is what you actually need okay and make sure that you have it uh, picked by alt clicking or uh, the pick up parameter here and have it selected so now we want to add in dimensions and there are two methods you can draw them manually which is by you know just going in there with the dimension tool selected and then you say this and that and perhaps that and then you double click to to place the dimension line but that's not definitely what i'm going to do i want to use automatic dimensioning and then we can go ahead and refine those dimensions so we will do that by first of all selecting the elements that we want to dimension which are going to be the walls which are the structure elements so under design we pick the wall tool ctrl a to select all walls and now that they have been selected then we go to document and then we say annotation and then we head over to automatic dimensioning and then we have something here called exterior dimensioning and with that selected you can see that we have a few things going on here first is the overall dimension you can see dimension one which is the overall dimension and that is critical next is the dimensioning of ex external geometry so those will be the geometries that will be protruding that's still fine and the dimensioning the structure that will be the walls which is good and then as well openings the doors and windows okay which will be totally fine for us and then next is how we are going to actually dimensioning those openings so we can see we have an option for dimensioning the center line which i don't think is a good idea but by the end points will be a nice one because you know people can know how thick how large the opening actually is okay and then we can leave everything the way it is and then dimension walls by the outer face i think that yeah we do not want to dimension the core only because that will neglect the finish that we added on the walls okay so 500 is the d distance between every uh dimension maybe we may make it a little bit bigger i like to make it like 800 and then be sure to also check on place dimensioned on all four sides such that we can have it on all the four sides and then we say okay and then in order to place we first draw a vertical or horizontal line or to click on the line parallel to the side you want to dimension so in my head place i'm going to click that and then i can go ahead and place click where i need the dimension is going to going to be and you can see that everything has been dimensioned automatically and that's what we definitely need so you can see that we have first the overall second we have this geometry like this 9.5 and then this one meter offset and then we have the walls which are showing you we have this 100 millimeter wall this 100 millimeter wall as well there as and uh, the 200 millimeter wall at the entrance at the beginning point and that extreme extreme which is really good and just in order to add another dimension on this side we may need to include as well the dimension for this thing here which is the grid lines so we might want to delete this one and i will bring i think we already had a dimension for this somewhere here i don't know i think i think we lost it 
but it's fine i can always pick and dimension them manually so we can have these four parts and put them somewhere here and of course in order to have it uniformly distributed i will bring it here and use this distance to offset it the 800 okay such that now these are uniformly uh, spread out so let's sort of balance where these elements are are placed and we forgot to select this one as well so making sure that this is well balanced and then we inspect what is happening as well here we can see we have 600 1.8 1.8 1.8 for these windows and that 600 pretty good and then we have the walls after that and then we have this geometry of 1.3 and then after that i think we need to have the dimension for these grid elements all right we have it right there and i'm gonna offset it by 800 and since it's on top of this other one we we want to select the other one and uh, offset it in order to select it be sure to hover over there you can see that the top one is the one which is going to be selected so tab tab in order to select the second one so i can take this one by 800 away all right so now we have ourselves these elements which is this that 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 and now and we go ahead and bring this down here All right so now that side is done we inspect this other side we can see 600 1.8 1.5 and then we have uh, 200 100 i think everything is good and we need to like we did before leave space for these um elements here so we can actually make a copy of this ctrl shift d in order to drag this all the way to somewhere here and in order to put it in the perfect place i will offset it from here by the 800 okay so that's good and then the front has a lot of stuff going on here so here we have 300 and we want to have 300 here and i do not think that we need to have this okay and oh yes so this is for the opening so since this is for the openings i do not think that we need this 300 in here this wall needs to not be there so we have uh, 1.5 for this window and 620 before you get to the 2.4 for that door okay so let's get rid of this 300 all right so we have a much better dimension right there we do the same for here and as well i guess somewhere here okay so you can always click on those nodes and delete them to refine the dimension okay so now let's uh, also add in the dimension which is missing and before we add it in i think all of these dimensions need to move up a little bit and then these need to move up by 800 to make way for the dimension here which is supposed to be starting from here to there to there to there double click to finish and place it in and in order to be specific you can move this to here and move it backward by the 800 okay by the 800 and that is perfect i like it and uh that's how quick it is to actually dimension and you could do the same for the interior dimensions like we have done so if we have the wall selected and say ctrl a to select all walls and then we go document and then say annotations automatic dimensioning and this time you can have the interior dimension and once you click that you choose whatsoever elements you want to have uh, uh, dimensions and we want to have the outer faces uh, dimensioned and let's pick like a line across here okay you draw a line let's draw this line 
I hold down shift such that it's you know vertical you can see this vertical line and once I have done that double click to finish and then I place the dimension and you can see we have ourselves that 200 4.5 100 4.5 200 and then we can complete this dimension by selecting it and hold down control to add a node like this to specify that dimension right and instead of going through that trouble of what we have just done we can always you know put those interior dimensions faster by just clicking on on the wall so if you click on one side of the walls you can see that wall has been picked click here and there and there and finally here so you can see that this is uh fast fast enough for the interior dimensions to to actually do that and commonly we do not dimension the exterior walls for the interior dimension so you can go ahead and delete that if that's what you're into you can actually select that and delete it so that it's, it's entirely the interior that you're you know um, fascinated by and you want to see and i think we just before we go we need to have also a dimension on this space here because we need to know how far these elements are from uh you can see it's 200 then uh, we have 7.5 before you get to that wall all right and if you wanted you can also get rid of that all right so that's been how to quickly dimension and uh, i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one